What's going on guys? The MJ Scientist here. Decided to do a little quick video here doing the comparison of the Thriller vinyls of Michael Jackson. I got the Japanese pressing, I got Thriller 25, and I got Thriller 40 on vinyl as well. Anyway guys, thank you so much for the likes and the support. Let's get started. So, we got the CD here of Thriller 40. We all know it. Um, pretty sure you guys have seen this before, obviously. But I really like the CD. I think they did a good job um, putting artwork in the booklet, making it informative. It's a slipcase here. I think it's very good. Now, they could have gutted some of these songs on disc two, like, um, oh, Sunset Driver could have easily been replaced with Hot Street. I believe Hot Street should have been on this album. This video basically, guys, is going to be critiquing everything here. So I hope you guys enjoy. Um, Sunset Driver could have been gone. Can't Get Out of the Rain could have been replaced with Nightline. So Hot Street and Nightline could have easily been on the bonus tracks here. It's a, They're really great songs. I recommend you guys go check them out. They're on YouTube. But either way, it's a really nice CD. Way better than the Thriller 40 vinyl. I will be discussing that in a little bit here. They also re-released Thriller on vinyl. High def apparently. Like really good quality. I have it. And honestly I yeah, I guess you have to have an ear for that. I really don't. And it really sounds the same to me. Honestly. But the booklet is really nice. I'm not going to open this but... You open this, there's a, the bonus tracks are behind the other CD here. It's very nice. I just wish the Thriller 40 vinyl was more, but it's not, unfortunately. We don't get the bonus songs on the Thriller 40 vinyl. And gosh, you guys, that really made me upset. It really did make me upset that we did not get those bonus songs on Thriller 40 vinyl. Now, if you guys know... Bad 25 is also on vinyl, and it has all the bonus tracks, and even the This Is It album is on vinyl, and it has all the bonus songs as well, so I don't understand why they just did not put the bonus songs on Thriller 40. They've done it before. It was a very lazy vinyl. I will explain why. Here it is, the Thriller 40 vinyl. Now, a lot of people don't like the logo. I, I sort of agree. It does look really cheaply made. But it is what it is, unfortunately, you guys. But And they say, too, that the sound quality is better on this version of Thriller. I don't hear it, guys. I just don't hear it. I think all the Thriller vinyls I have sound exactly the same. We open it up. The gatefold here it has all his singles. Pretty much all his singles, what you can collect, and information about them, which is nice. I do like that. But wait till I show you guys my Thriller Japanese pressing. They could have easily put a poster in here, uh, more artwork, but they didn't. Very cheaply made vinyl right here, in my opinion. I just felt like they were in a hurry or something, because here's the record. The original sleeve. They just repressed it. But yeah, you get the normal nine songs on here. Um, like I said, guys, it's not the greatest Michael Jackson release we've had, unfortunately. But it is cool seeing the um, inner sleeve in better condition this way, but still. Very lazy vinyl by the estate right here. And it's unfortunate we don't get the bonus tracks on here. I just can't believe that there's not another record showing the bonus songs. It's unbelievable to me, you guys. So, right here. Got Thriller 25 on vinyl. You get all the bonus tracks. This was released in 2008. It's really great. 2LP set. Get the nine songs and you get the bonus remix songs. I think For All Time is on here. Yep, For All Time. It's amazing listening to that on vinyl. 
But in here you get a lot more detail and a lot more artwork. The inner sleeves even have artwork. Thrill of 4D on vinyl does not have that. Open up the gatefold. Hopefully nothing will fall out. Michael here with the zombies. Very nice. This vinyl is so excellent. It is so much better than Thriller 40 any day. I mean, I recommend you guys just buy this and don't buy Thriller 40 on vinyl. But, you know, if you're a collector and you want to have it all, I, I guess get Thriller 40 on vinyl. Show you the sleeves. It's very neat. Hope you guys are doing wonderful in your lives, by the way. Trying to come up with videos for the channel here. As you can see, there's information, there's artwork, there's everything. And even Michael thanks his fans on here for this love and support at the time for Furler 25. It's really nice, this piece here, this vinyl. see what Michael has to say here what he wrote for his fans at the time to all my fans around the world I would like to thank you for helping make Furley the biggest selling album of all time as we celebrate the 25th anniversary I know that I would not have been able to reach the historic accomplishments associated with this album without the love and continued support of you my fans Hope you all enjoyed the new pre selling release bonus tracks, including the 25th Anniversary Edition, as well as new remixes by my friends Akon William and Fergie and Kanye West. So like I said, so much information, so much knowledge, more than the Frill of 40 vinyl, unfortunately. Get more artwork here. These sleeves are really nice. It's a great vinyl. And for all time on vinyl is a must listen. It gives me the chills. It gives me those goosebumps. That's when you know a song is good. Fur 25 on vinyl. Very good. Now I do have the original pressing of Thriller. But this is the Japanese pressing right here. And why did I buy this? Because there's a lot of artwork in here. And it's actually really good. It's better than the American pressing of Thriller. Get a, get a cutout poster in behind it here. My favorite songs from Frill of 40, though, probably Who Do You Know and uh, What a Lovely Way to Go, the new songs that were revealed. That Who Do You Know is a brilliant, beautiful song. I can't believe it's unreleased. It does drag a little bit, but I like, the, I like that. I don't know why. Some fans don't, but that's all right. You can see, get a poster in here and take it out. This is such a nice vinyl from Japan. Easily hands down better than the American pressing or thriller. Get a nice booklet here of his past albums. Really good, really good. It's all in Japanese. Here's the lyrics of all nine songs. Very nice vinyl indeed. Take notes, estate. This is what Thriller 40 on vinyl should have been. But unfortunately, we got, well, that. <laughs> oh, boy. Big disappointment that the bonus tracks are not on Thriller 40 on vinyl. Ooh, this is nice. I haven't really looked through this. Very cool. This is what Thriller 40, again, I'm going to repeat myself, but this is what Thriller 40 on vinyl should have been. More artwork, more in-depth information, bonus tracks. It should have been like Bad 25 on vinyl. Um, they failed ep epically on that. And I, I, some fans don't care, but I do, man. They made great vinyls in the past. 
unfortunately they failed with Thriller 40 on vinyl but this is the Japanese pressing like I said it's really good right see if there's any more in here nope just the record I won't be taking the record out you guys know what I'm talking about oh yeah I gotta show you the gatefold Michael with the tiger Excellent original pressing right here. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Anyway, guys, I think that is it for the video. I just wanted to do a comparison of these vinyls. Give you guys my, guys my own two cents. But yeah, this, this vinyl right here, it's not worth the buy, honestly, you guys. It sounds the same as the other vinyls I have really not worth the buy or the purchase but if you want to collect go ahead and buy it thank you guys so much for watching tune in more videos to come thanks guys goodbye